the Singaporean businessmen, they are, they are patriots and they are ambassadors in our region. But they also happen to be the first ones to come under some pressure or, or tension whenever there is uh, some attention in, on the diplomatic front with our neighbors. And not a few of them uh, perhaps feel that Singapore could have been a little bit more, shall we say, circumspect in commenting about China in particular. What is your advice to the business community over here? How do they uphold the interest of Singapore and at the same time look after their own pockets at the same time? <laughs> Well, the first thing to realize is your guo cai you jia. If the country is not successful, then you, your passport is not worth very much. And for a country to be successful, you have to maintain good relations with other countries in the world, but also on the basis of mutual respect and cooperation and win-win. And sometimes it works. Sometimes there are issues where it doesn't work so well and we must be able to manage the issues which don't work so well in order that it not affect the wider relationship. The businessmen, I think, have to take a different approach because the businessmen, you are not in the business of deciding the direction of the country. You are just looking for opportunities for your company and the more favorable the overall conditions are, well, the more opportunities you have. But if the government takes the perspective like a businessman does, I think that would be as unsuccessful as if the businessman takes the same perspective as the government needs to do. And I think we have to understand that. Uh, it's our job to make sure that we have stable relations with as many countries as possible, and within that framework, the businessmen have to understand what the government is trying to do, why are you doing it this way, so that if after dinner over the Mao Thai somebody asks you, you have a good answer. <laughs> but your own business, well, you have to do what you need to do. And I think that is the way it has to work. 